Good morning. Today is November 9, 2023. The Feast of the Dedication of the Lateran Basilica in Rome. Let me read to you the Gospel for today from the book of John, chapter 2, verses 19 to 21. Jesus answered and said to them, Destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews said, This temple has been under construction for 46 years, and you will raise it up in three days? But he was speaking about the temple of his body. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We celebrate today the Lateran Basilica in Rome, the mother church of the entire Roman Catholic Church. It was given to the Bishop of Rome in the 4th century and remained the Pope's primary residence until the building of St. Peter's Basilica, at a time when the Lateran Basilica was falling into ruins. However, the Lateran Basilica to this day remains the most important church in the world since it is officially the Cathedral Church of Rome. As we honor this church, we honor more than a building. The Lateran Basilica is a symbol of the one true Church of Jesus Christ. Its interior is beautiful and awe-inspiring so as to point us to the unimaginable beauty of the church herself, which is the mystical body of Christ. Today's gospel depicts Jesus entering the temple and driving the money changers out to the whip and the animals they were selling for profit. As he did so, he cried out, Take these out of here and stop making my father's house a marketplace. Psalm 69 is then quoted, Zeal for your house will consume me. Jesus loves his church as his own body because that is what it is. As his body, the members of his church are called and sent to act as his instruments, members of his saving action. Much more than a church building, today we honor the church herself which means we honor you in so far as you are a member of the body of Christ. And in light of this gospel passage for today's feast, we are reminded of the zeal that our Lord has for the cleansing of his church. How is the church purified? It is purified by the cleansing of her members. That means that Jesus desires with perfect zeal to drive out every sin from your soul, cleansing the filth that keeps you from fulfilling your essential role as a member of his body. Sometimes we become slack in our own commitment to be purified. We can easily become comfortable with the sins we commit and we can form habits that are hard to break. When this happens, it is useful to ponder this story of the cleansing of the temple and see it as Jesus' desire to cleanse our own soul. At times, we need to be shaken up, challenged, confronted, and encouraged with the unwavering zeal in the heart of our Lord. Reflect today upon this powerful image of Jesus cleansing the temple. As you do, apply it to your own life. The people selling and buying in the temple must have been shocked at Jesus' zeal and actions. If you have become complacent with your sins, try to allow this holy shock to also wake you up. Allow our Lord's zeal to affect you and know that His purifying actions are acts of love by which He desires to free you to become a more fully functioning member of his holy church. My zealous Lord, 
Your heart burns with a deep desire to cleanse me and all your children from sin. Your zeal reveals your deep love and your willingness to do all that you can to make me a fuller member of your body, the church. Open my mind and will, dear Lord, to all that you wish to say to me and give me the grace to respond to your purifying action in my life. Jesus, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.